what's up guys back again with another episode so this episode we're gonna be learn we're gonna be learning about um, using objects as parameters in Java so um, the episodes before that we learned more again about classes and stuff like that and overloading constructors and um, so sometimes when you're coding and you're uh, making your classes you might want to have the ability to use um, objects inside of your constructors and methods and stuff like that so I'm gonna give you a good example of why you might want that so we're gonna make a new class and um, we're gonna start doing this we're gonna have our classes outside of the main class because technically if you have it inside of the main class that's just like you're just pointless because you're making a class inside of a class so um, actually you'd want to make it um, in a different file but it doesn't matter but anyway so we'll have class here so class tiger, we're going to name it tiger. And then inside tiger, we're going to have a few uh, data types, right? I mean data, or <laughs> variables. So we're going to have first string name, so th the name of the tiger, and then int age, some simple stuff. It doesn't really matter. So um, from there, we're going to have a, um, hmm. We'll have a constructor, okay? So we'll name it, um, well, it's a constructor, a constructor so I'll just try tiger like that, you know. So tiger, and then um, we'll pass in um, string name and uh, int age. So we're passing in those values, right? So to be able to set that, we'll do um, this dot name equals name. So if you remember name. This name refers to the parameter, but this name, this dot name, refers to the the parameter. I mean the uh, object's variable, right? So they also will do that for this dot uh, age, right? Equals age. So yep. So that's how you do that. So you know it's just a simple constructor, and you know for the tiger and all that. And then let's have a method here. So um, we'll give it a method of string. Or no, 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 it'll be void. It'll just do something. So void um, talk, right? So the tiger can talk somehow. So so it's going to talk using the um, the data, the variables inside of it. So we'll, for example, I'll just do this. So south, um, hi, I am this dot name plus the tiger nice to meet you and then the next line will say I am this dot age years old you know just some simple array stuff I mean not array method stuff so it's all pretty simple right so anyway so let's go into our main method and we're gonna call the tiger class and make a new tiger so tiger uh, tiger one equals new tiger there we go. And um, so we're going to pass it. It's asking, we have one constructor, right? Only one. So we, it, it requires us to give us a name and an age. So we'll give it a name of Larry the Tiger. And then give it an age of 165 years old. And there we go. And now we have a tiger with the name of Larry and 165 years old. And of course, um, we can print out these datas, I mean, data values to, t uh, to test it out. So let's go ahead and generate some getters and setters, of course. And control select all of them. There we go. So now we have our getters and setters, right? Pretty pretty simple. So um, we'll do south tiger one dot name, and it should work like that. It should print Larry. Oh no no no. We're using. We're not going to do that. We're going to be using getters and setters, right? So get name. So dot get name. So there we go. So this is all stuff we've done before, right? You know. So pretty simple. So that works. That's good. So um, yeah. So now let's um, run our method here. So tiger one dot talk. Let's see what happens. So hi, I'm Larry the tiger. Nice to meet you. I'm 165 years old. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let's. Um, so we're we're all done with that. We we constructed a class and you know did some basic crap, right? So now let's start getting a little more complicated. Let's say the user doesn't provide any values. So let's go ahead and account for that. So tiger. And it's going to be empty, right? Because it's not, they're not passing anything. So what we're going to do is set this.name equal to null. You can't set it to anything else, I don't think, because it's a string, right? And then we'll set the this.age equal to negative 1. That's something people do. So, I mean, we could also have null probably, huh? Right? No, we can't. 
So I guess it's only for strings, whatever. So we'll have negative one. Okay, so now um, all this works the same, but let's say um, we don't provide anything. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. What is it? What does it print out when we run talk, right? It's going to be weird because it's setting, you know, to null and negative one. So it's obviously going to be really weird. So what we can do here is say, um, if they were to run, for example, sal, uh, tiger one dot get name, right? Oops. And it's, it's also going to do the same thing and provide like just a weird little thing, right? That doesn't make any sense. So if we want it to start making sense, we can run, put this here. So if, um, let's say if dot name this dot name equals null then return um, you did not ever provide a name and by the way this is not we're not using the objects parameters yet I'm just showing you some really cool stuff that can help you make classes and stuff like that so anyway, so we made this if statement, so it'll check before it prints out the name, returns the name. And if it doesn't have it, it'll just return that instead of the actual name, which won't exist because we didn't set one right here, right? So let's go ahead and run this. So when we get the name, now this will run. So it says, you did not ever provide a name. So again, that's helpful now. So the user will be like, oh crap, I didn't provide a name. And then he can account for that and fix it. But also we have negative one years old. So let's go ahead and just fix that real quick too. So get age and say if this dot age equals negative one, then say return. Um, crap, you can't actually, you can't return a string. So let's try just out sounding like that. So you did not ever return, oh, provide a an age proper grammar, of course. So let's print that out. Did we ever call age? No, we didn't. So let's change this to get age. Right, there we go. So by the way, this is useful. Um, this is an example of why getting and setting is useful instead of just calling the values manually. You can have like checkers in the way just in case so you know what the hell is happening, right? So it says, um, you do not ever prove age, provide an age. So yeah, so what is this? Negative one, why is this running? Let's see. Oh, I see why, because we never said it else, so else, we want to put this in here, right? So then, because even if this runs, it'll still run the one after it, so we got to have else there. What's wrong here? Oh, it's a missing return statement. Um, well, let's see what we can do. You can return, let's try returning false. Or no, we can't, it's, because it, it's uh, an int, right? Let's try that, see what happens. So yeah, still gonna return negative one. I don't know, I never thought this far actually. But anyway, so anyway, anyway this is just extra stuff anyway. So um, so now let's do what we came here to do. So let's get rid of this, all this crap, and return age, right? Uh, I think that's what it was, okay, so. So now we're gonna have another constructor but this one will allow the user to make a copy of a previous made tiger. And if you don't know what I mean, then I'll show you. So tiger like that, then we could do, we can pass in an object, right? So tiger object. So this is just the name, of course, cause it's just a parameter name, but this is what the data type is, of course, because classes are technically data types that you're making. So yeah, it's the same as saying like int Bob or something like that, you know? So now what we can do is say, um, this dot name equals object dot name. This is just so cool to me. <laughs> and this dot age equals object dot age. So what it's doing is copying the object that you passed in. So let's go ahead and use that. Um, it's not highlighted because um, we didn't use it, right? So, um, so let's go ahead and do here. We're going to say Larry again and 165, right? So then we could do this stuff again. Well, we don't need this one, right? Of course. So we get all this crap, right? So now we're gonna make a new tiger. So tiger, tiger uh, two equals new tiger. And then we have options now, we have options. Um, it's not giving us, 
It's not showing me the stuff. That's weird. Ah, one second. It's not showing me the parameter options. Yeah, there we go. So, ah, it went away. Whatever. Um, so we know for a fact that we have three constructors. We don't have to use that. We have three constructors, right? So we can either just give it a name manually like we did before with the first tiger, or provide nothing and we'll just have all this stupid crap. Or we can copy another tiger, right? Like we just did. So let's go ahead and do this. Ti just pass in tiger one. There we go. So now you can see that they're boxed out. So they're correlating with each other. They're all the same thing, right? So that copied the same, they copied the attributes of the first tiger into the second tiger. So let's go ahead and test that out. See if we did that right. So tiger two dot talk. And we should just get a copy of what we have here. Awesome. So let's try. Um, so we know for a fact that they copied correctly and that we can pass in objects as parameters now. So that's pretty cool. So tiger one or tiger two dot set age. We'll set it to one years old or no, 10 years old. And then it'll stay as Larry because we copied it before. But now he's 10 years old and he's 165 years old. So that's it. Um, now we can set objects as parameters and use it as constructors so we can like copy other objects. So that's really cool. This is just one little example of how you could use this. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment if you need any help and I'll help you. And peace.